Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video I'm showing you how to create a basic dash system. So previously I've made a dodging system which is kind of similar to this but also slightly different. Uh, so today I'm doing a more general, more basic dashing one. So if I hit play I can show you what we're going to make. So I get in and in my example I'm going to be pressing the direction I want to go in and space to dash. So I'm holding W and just press space and I'm going to dash forwards like this and I have right, left, forward, right, forward, left and I have a delay in between them as well so the player can't spam them to travel around the map too quickly and all this good stuff and again it's very basic as you can see here we're simply just dashing the player to where they need to be and where they're choosing to go and I don't have an animation but I have set up to play an animation in here I just haven't found one which I like so to prove that I have just input an animation into the slot where I've created the code but again it just doesn't look that great and I couldn't really find one which looked that good either but again, obviously, if you have your own animation, you can use it using this code as well. Uh, so this is what we made today, this basic dash system which we have here. Obviously, you can check out my dodging video as well if you prefer that. But that's slightly different because the way the character is controlled and moves around is different because it's directional movement, directional walking, directional dodge, all that good stuff. But again, this is a more basic version. So without further ado, this is what we made today. So let me do this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your character blueprint. So for me that's content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. And as you can see here in the event graph I've got my jump code and for you this will probably be over here in a comment named jump by default but I've just moved over here because that is where I'm doing the code. Now you don't have to do it off of jump if you don't want, this is just because I also want to be using the spacebar to dash and obviously when I'm dashing I don't want the player to jump. But you can obviously do this wherever you want, so if you want it to be on its own keybind for example, so maybe you press 1 or anything like that, it's going to dash. Do this wherever you want, but again for me, I've got it on the jump or space keyboard event. And so to make sure that I can jump or dash, what I'm going to do is just move out the jump and stop jump functions over here, and just disconnect them as well. Then I'm going to hold down B and left click to get two branches, like this, going into pressed and released. And these are going to be if I want to dash. So true is we're dashing, false is we're jumping or not dashing. So false is going to go to jump and stop jumping like so. So top false, jump, bottom false, stop jumping. Hope that makes sense because again, this is just if we're dashing or jumping. And to determine if we are dashing or jumping, I want to see which keys the player is pressing. So again, for me, I'm going to have it as W, A, S and D and space. So I have to press either W, A, S or D for the direction they're traveling in and space in order to dash. So to do that, I'm going to right click and get the player controller. And out of this, what I'm going to do is get is input key down like so. And the key for this, I'm going to start off with W. And the return value of that is going to go into an OR Boolean like so. And because I have four different keys, W, A, S and D, I'm going to have four inputs. So one, two, three, four, and the return value of that OR is going to go into the conditions of those branches there like so. So as you see, we're searching to see if the Im these input keys are down. So let me just get the other ones as well. So I need one, two, three, four, and I'll just connect all of these in and set them to the keys that I want as well. So again, very easy to customize to get it perfect for you. Connecting those into the OR like so. I'll just move this up to make it look a little bit nicer as well and then get player controller also into the target of these, then just set the key. So I've got W, A, S, and D. Once again, choose whichever buttons you want. So now if we are pressing W, A, S, or D, and we press space, we're not going to jump, we're going to dash. And if not holding any of those buttons, and we press space, we're gonna jump. So true, like I say, is our dash. So what I'm gonna do is hold down O and left click to get a do once, connecting that into the true there like so. And this do once here is to prevent the player from spamming the dash to stop them just quickly traveling along the map or breaking the game on the system or anything along those lines. But if you don't want to prevent them spamming it, you don't need the do once, but I would recommend it. And out of the complete of the do once, here we're actually gonna dash. So that is very simply a launch character. Now, previously when I was making the code for this video, I tried lots of different methods, similar to what I did on my dash, However, I realized very quickly, I did not need to do that at all. I did quite a lot of code and I didn't need to do it because whichever way they're traveling in, technically for the character, it's always the forward. So even if you're holding S to move backwards, 
to the character, it's still moving forwards. But enough of that, so to start with, what we need to do is launch the character up into the air ever so slightly, so we can then change the Z to about 200. Now the reason we're doing that is so that the player doesn't get stuck in the ground as they're launching, because otherwise they won't go very far and it won't look too good. So we just need to lift them up and out of the ground ever so slightly, so slightly the player doesn't really notice. So that's X0, Y0, Z200, or more or less if you want, again, change this to get it perfect for you. I'm going to hold down D, left click to get a delay, with the duration as 0.1, just so we have enough time to actually get up into the air. And out of the completed, we're going to get another launch character. And this is the one which is actually going to propel the character and dash the player forward or the direction you want to go in. So to figure out the launch velocity, we can right click and get the actor rotation. With the return value of this I'm going into a get forward vector, so we know which direction they're traveling in. They're getting the forward vector of the character, and that is going to go into a vector multiplied by a float, connecting that into the launch velocity there like so. Now this float is how far you want the player to travel. So I'm going to set it as a thousand, and that seemed to be good for me when I was testing out the code. But again, set this to whatever you want. So the higher the number, the further the dash will go, the lower the number, the less the dash will go. So maybe you want to have this as a variable, so it's an upgrade the player can change, so they maybe have to buy an upgrade, or they unlock something which means they can dash further, and they start less, or anything along those lines. But again, for me, a thousand seemed like a good value. And after the launch character, what I'm going to do is get a play anim montage. And this is where you can input an animation if you wanted one. So I do have one here, which is just a simple leap jump animation from Mixamo. But again, it doesn't work too well. So maybe you have different ones, maybe you don't. But either way, this is how you would play an animation if you wanted one. Also, if you are playing an animation, make sure that if you open up your animation blueprint in the anim graph, you do have the slot default slot, which will load in a minute. Here it is, the slot default slot here, out of the state machine, going into the output pose. And this simply allows the use of animation montages. So make sure you have that if you are doing the animation. And after this, we're going to hold down D, left click to get a delay. I'm going to set the duration to 1, and the completed is going to go back into the reset of the do once here. So you can set the duration to be absolutely whatever you like, but this is how long the player has to wait before they can dash again to again prevent the spamming. So maybe you don't want 1 second, you want 0.5, anything along those lines. Again, just set the timing to be whatever you want for how long in between each dash there is. But other than that, that's the code done. It's actually very, very simple. So we're going to compile, save, and hit play to test this out. I'm going to walk around. I'm holding W and hit space. We're going to dash forward. A dash left, D dash right, S dash backwards, and also directional, like diagonal as well. Sorry, my bad. So forward, left, forward, right, all this good stuff that we have here. And again, you can put an animation in here very simply, like so, but doesn't look too great for me. Again, you can obviously customize them, change the animations, all that good stuff to get it looking and working a lot better for you. But I think that'll be it for this video. So we've done everything we've wanted to do. We've set it up so we have this very basic dash system in our game. We press a button, we're simply going to dash like this. And I've showed you how you can change it all to make them dash further, less, up in the air more or less. And you can also add animations in if you wanted as well. And also prevent spamming. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.